What's going on guys? This is EDG AR15 coming at you again with another review. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say uh, Happy New Year's to everybody. You know, I, I hope you had a Happy New Year's. I hope you spend it well with your families and friends, you know, your loved ones. I hope you had a Merry Christmas as well. You know, I know I did. I spent it with my family. You know, it's, it's just the best feeling, you know, just around that time and just being with your your loved ones, your kids, it's a great feeling. But anyways, guys, 2020 now, the start of a new decade. You know, let's just try to move forward. You know, any, anything we learn from the last decade, let's bring it to this decade and, you know, just become a better person, guys. But anyways, guys, uh, I want to make a quick video on my, uh, on this uh, AK that I got here. It's an Arsenal Sam 7 K44 ASR. I got this over at uh, K-Bar, K-Bar USA. I had an AK pistol a couple years ago. I had a, a C39 shark fin, but I had a buddy that wanted it so bad that he kept bugging me for me to sell it to him, so I finally did. And ever since then, I haven't really seen another AK pistol that I like that didn't cost over, you know, $1,500. I always liked the Sam 7 pistols, but the only thing I didn't like, the barrel wasn't threaded. You know, and it didn't have no no way to, to put a stock if I ever want to SBR it. Good thing I waited, waited, I waited patiently. And finally, I seen when the Sam 7 04 came out with the Pinkerton rail. I was real close to buying it until I kept doing a little bit more research. And then I came up to the Arsenal Sam 7 uh, K44. And I was definitely going to buy it then. But then I did a little bit more research and I found this one, the Arsenal Sam 7K44 ASR. This thing, this thing is a home run, guys. This thing right here, it pretty much checks all the boxes on the list, guys. This is the Arsenal Suppressor Ready. So pretty much what that means is that the difference between this and a regular 44, yes, the 44 it does have um threads to where you can put a different flash hider or or muzzle brick or whatever but it's not a hundred percent centric to the bore this this is they make sure that it is this is pretty much guaranteed you know ready for suppress that's what the the asr stands for um and uh and if you try to buy in this uh, i don't think k-bar has it right now i think they're out of stock but they usually have this as a combo, but there is a way around, guys, to getting this without buying the suppressor for it. I was just messing with the with the website, and when you add the 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 combo to the cart, it has three items. It has the ASR, it has the AK by itself, it has the suppressor, then it has the combo. So what I did was, I deleted the suppressor, and I deleted the combo, and I just left the AK. The, the the pistol and what do you know when you go to check out it rung me just for the AK pistol and I was still hesitant I was thinking you know maybe they caught on to what I did and maybe they'll just send me a regular 44 or maybe they'll send me an email saying there was an error or something but no a week later I get a call from my FFL my uh, gun has arrived I go and open it and what do you know guys the ars stamping was right there i was so thrilled about that that it actually worked and no i'm not gonna be really suppressing this gun that much just because i don't have this the, the the adapters for my uh my dead air or sandman and i'm not really planning to, to suppress it that much uh but if i was gonna get a pistol I definitely wanted to be suppressor ready just in case I decide later on I want to go that route you know at least I don't know that this this can you know I can suppress it but anyways guys you know that, that was a big uh, win for me I'm glad I was able to get that you know look at that I think it's sweet uh, I shot about 300 rounds through this um, and this configuration is not super practical to shoot but uh, I got a package came in today right over here guys with a little bit of upgrades that I'll be doing to this and yes uh, maybe if you're looking up this gun you probably seen some upgrades just the same as what I'm gonna be doing to it but I think guys this is probably the best configuration you can get this in I got the CNC warrior brace 
This thing's freaking sweet, solid, very solid. I like that. There ain't really no rubber anywhere, guys. It's all made out of a metal construction, uh, except for, you know, your Velcro. Everything else, guys, metal, sweet. And I got the four piece flash hider, guys. This thing is sweet. I'm not sure if this is chrome line. It looks chrome line to me, but it, you know, I could be mistaken. Awesome from, uh, from CNC Warriors. It's very nice though. It's very well built. The machinery on this is very nice. I'm not gonna be taking it apart right now, guys, because like I see in the video, they're kind of a pain in the butt to put together. But as I'm feeling it right now, it feels pretty good. It's hardly any play, just a little bit of play. But I seen that that's normal and i can see why because there's a little play there but uh but yeah guys i'm gonna be uh i'm gonna be putting this on the gun and uh i'll be doing it off camera because you don't want to see me struggling with nuts and bolts guys that's no fun right <laughs> but anyways uh oh i'd like to point out we got the krebs custom bepper 762 that thing is freaking sweet man i love that ak I love AKs, man. I'm an AK fanatic, man, and, and I'm glad I got that bad boy. Um, I got it when the Vepers were already uh, being banned, so I had to pick that one up used on Gunbroker, but the guy said he hardly put any rounds through it, so, and it looks, it looks at it, it looks almost brand new, so, uh, but yeah, guys, I'm glad I have that. Got the Arsenal SLR 107 with me as well, Bulgarian. I got plans in the future to send that to Rifle Dynamics, get the magic done on it. You know, that way it'll be a freaking badass rifle. And I got my Glock uh, 19 Gen 3 with me with the uh, Surefire threaded barrel and uh, Streamlight on it. It's an old school Streamlight, but it works pretty good. You know, it just stays on my nightstand or my wife's, you know, whenever I'm not home. You know, that's what she'll have behind her nightstand. But all right, guys, I'm going to be installing this uh, and I'll come back on once I finish. All right, guys, I'm back. I installed the CNC Warrior Brace and a cnc four piece flash hider on it and damn man it makes a world of a difference look at that hey like i told you earlier man i think this is the best configuration of this pistol the thing is so sweet you know the only thing i might do next is just you know add a rail either a mac rail or the arsenal rails or a side rail right here for a red dot and uh, I'm, I'm going to change the grip out as well. And I'm going to get rid of the thumb selector. Just because it's going to be in the way of whatever grip I decide to get. Oh, and I, if I didn't uh, mention earlier, guys. I have uh, safety checked all my weapons. You know, all my weapons are safe. You know, believe me. You know, safe. Now, she looks just like. Her big brother, Seb Seven. Oh, this one's kind of hard. There you go. A little bit easier. Look at that. They look nice, guys. Look at that side by side. What a beauty! What a beauty of. Of firearms guys the real reason i got the k as well is because this one uh the stock is a, a nato length so it's a little bit longer for me this was a little bit shorter so you know this one fits me very well i was gonna sell this one but after seeing them together i just i, I can't get rid of the pair man i love them together you know what i mean they look really good really really good guys i'm very happy the way that one turned out you know, I'm very glad I didn't get rid of this one. I'm also going to send this one to Rifle Dynamics and let them, you know, sprinkle their magic on it, guys. Very nice. But yeah, guys, now this is going to be way funner shooting it like this than without the brace and, and, and the uh, flash hider. So uh, I'll be updating you guys on this firearm if I get any problems or anything with it or if I get any upgrades. Uh, I have a, another firearm that I uh, plan on doing a video on. I was gonna make this my truck gun, but after getting uh, this firearm that I'm gonna do a, a video on it soon, uh, I think I'm gonna have to hold on on this one, guys. I think I'm gonna have to make the other one my, my truck gun. 
but anyways guys thank you for watching my videos uh, please like and subscribe I got more videos for y'all guys uh, coming in the future and I appreciate y'all thank you